guys, we're here back again. This time we are doing a different series here today. I did make a poll on it on Twitter asking if you guys actually wanted to see me open up my loot crate, which I just recently subscribed to for the first time. I did see that it was a Monster Hunter one, I believe. Uh, it may be this one or the next one, I'm not sure. But we do have one nonetheless, and I wanted to open it up and see what you guys think about it uh, and just be surprised with you guys as we go because it is completely unopened i have not peeked it's still sealed and everything uh so let's go ahead and get into it and see what we got all righty so let's go ahead and open it up again this is my very first loot crate so i'm super excited about this uh go ahead and break the seal here for you guys there we go oh my god i'm tearing the box all right so let's go ahead and see open it up for the first time we got a sea of thieves okay so Surprise number one, Monster Hunters next month. <laughs> this is the Sea of Thieves one. So we're going to be getting some Sea of Thieves themed loot here, as well as looks like a World of Warcraft. But we'll go ahead and get into that second. So let's go ahead and look at this uh, Sea of Thieves real quick. So here it is. Here's a box. It says Captain Flameheart collectible figure here. Uh, going to go ahead and open this up for you guys and see what we actually got. Uh, I believe I saw... From the preview, it's like a pirate, captain, you know, obviously. Uh, but let's go ahead and see exactly who it is. I haven't played too much Sea of Thieves, but I know that I actually want to start collecting these figurines and putting it around my office here, which I think would be really, really cool. Um, so here we go. Oh my god, this thing's actually pretty big, too. Uh, we'll put the box on the floor here. Alright, so we got... Here we go. Oh, and he just fell. All right, here we go. So we have, he actually gets placed right in there. And then the foot goes into the gold right there. Sweet. So there we are, man. That looks pretty cool. Uh, so there is Captain, who was it? Flame Hearts from Sea of Thieves. Uh, pretty cool figurine here. I'm definitely liking it. Uh, the first one to my collection here that I want to start get or start going here in my office because all I have right now I can step away and show you all I have right now is a Scarf from Vainglory which was broken broken in, sh in shipping You can see a little like notches here that actually wore like the claws off the wing were broken during shipping uh, But anyways, I do have the scarf uh, and now I have the Captain Flameheart from Sea of Thieves uh, and soon to be Monster Hunter themed loot next month. Uh, but anyways, so there's that. We'll put that to the side for now. I'll put it so we can just kind of see it. Uh, oh, I'll take the scarf out since it's not relevant to the actual unboxing here. Um, okay, so there's that. Pretty cool. Uh, second one is World of Warcraft the official cookbook. It's <laughs> okay. That's that's different. Um, I never really sat down in the inn and really took notice to the different assortments of food they have. I don't remember them having pretzels <laughs> or these uh, leaf-shaped cookies or whatever they may be or cake. I, I don't remember most of this. Uh, this <laughs> says tracker snacks. The delicious smell emanating from a hot plate of tracker snacks will definitely help you find wayward house pets. But be careful that you don't attract unwanted attention from other beasts. Interesting. All right, so there you go. And it just, just has a bunch of just kind of funny references to World of Warcraft, it looks like, along with an actual legitimate recipe for food. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, I do like food. Uh, I think a lot of us probably do. So it's probably valuable in that sense, as well as have a little bit more of a comical sense, which kind of is fun to read and see what they reference from the game there. Uh, so there's that. World of Warcraft, the official cookbook pretty cool um now we do have also some skyrim based uh loot here air fresheners for my vehicle i have uh the actual emblem from skyrim you know when you log in there you go that's that uh pretty pretty uh, indifferent here I, I didn't really think uh that was going to be something in my loot but i know to expect the randomness of loot crates i've been told uh we have some pins too some enamel pins from skyrim uh, so there you go. It looks like it's one of the, um, the towns from Skyrim. I can't remember which it is. I'm sure all you Skyrim buffs know exactly which one that is. Uh, and then we have 
uh, one of the other emblems, I guess, that show up on the map, which is like a dragon or a boss. I don't know. You Skyrim buffs will probably know exactly what it is. I do not, but I just know that I definitely recognize it from something in the game. We also have some Gears of War stuff here today. A poster. Uh, and it's definitely, uh, well, it's two-sided. It shows what we actually got in our loot here. Uh, but, ooh, this is pretty big here. So we have a Gears of War. Let's see if I can actually uh, get it in the shot here. So there we go. A Gears of War poster here uh, for the new one coming out, I believe. I know there was one that was announced. Uh, so there you are. There's the poster for that. We also got the back, which just kind of shows what else we got. I don't want to just show everything just yet, so we'll go ahead and hold off of that. I'm going to put this back. All right. Don't ruin my poster here. I want to put, put this on my wall. So we have that. And then finally, we do have one, one more of two things left here, uh, which is a shirt. So we have this shirt here, which you can see. Uh, it says Norse Horse, God of War. Uh, a little less, uh, you know, out there. Something you can wear, and it's kind of like you you may know what it is, but it's not like hey, it looks kind of embarrassing to wear. You know, I've seen some shirts that just kind of that's cool, but I'm not gonna wear it out in public. Where this one's a little bit more subtle. <laughs> I guess that's the word I was looking for. So that's pretty cool. I'll definitely be wearing this one. Uh, hopefully, it's the right size. Yes, it is. Yes, uh, yes, it is. Okay, cool. Sweet. Uh, so we're doing that, although I know that large shirts sometimes come in varying sizes, so hopefully it actually is the type of large that I need since I love to eat. I just dropped my box. I love to eat, so. Uh, anyways, uh, we have one more thing here which fell out of the box here. So here is the last one, another collectible pin from uh, Loot Gaming this time around. Uh, it is another Sea of Thieves pin here. Uh, so we had a pin from Skyrim, we have a pin from Sea of Thieves, we have the air freshener from Skyrim, the Will of Warcraft official cookbook, we have a blade heart here from Sea of Thieves, which is really cool. This is the one I was really looking forward to, and the shirt. I love the shirts from any kind of gaming IP, uh, just because I like to add it to my collection of shirts that I have already, Vanglore being one of them. Uh, obviously, I wear a lot of these. Uh, I do have a set of Vanglory shirts that are kind of off to the side that I don't use to kind of keep vintage. Uh, but there we go. So this one, I definitely have to say that if you're looking for collectibles like this, this is definitely something that you would definitely want to invest in. I'm not sponsored by Loot Crate. <coughs> Loot Crate, <coughs> please. <laughs> but I did. I went ahead and invested because I knew that I had some, you know, cousins that were actually invested into it as well, and they had a lot of cool figurines. And I was like, you know what? I want that for myself too. I want that for my office to really personalize my office and not just be what you see here. You know, like it's it's. It's cool. It, it's cool. You know, I like it, uh, but it definitely needs some personal touch. Um, so, I mean, I have like the posters for like, One Punch Man and uh, Hero Academia, uh, but I'm, I'm sure I butchered that. But anyways, uh, we definitely want to go ahead and get our collectibles going here for you guys and for myself, obviously. Uh, have some cool background when I make my videos and such. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be doing more of these unboxings. I do have one coming in that's from Loot Crate Anime, so I, I don't remember which exact anime it was uh, referencing this month, or this this actual Loot Crate month, not the one that we're actually in. Uh, that one's already ordered. Uh, we have this month coming... <laughs> so confusing. So we have... We ordered these Loot Crates a month ago, so they just came in. We actually just continued... Uh, we actually continued our Loot Crate subscriptions, so we have another set of Loot Crates coming in next month as well which should be interesting another anime one and of course a dragon or a dragon uh, the monster hunter themed one coming for loot gaming which is really 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 exciting because they gave a preview and it's basically like a giant or not giant but a relatively large size replica of the great sword in monster hunter so i'm actually looking forward to that one and hopefully you guys will be too uh anyways hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing it's my first one so i'm sorry if it's rough around the edges as I keep doing this, it should get better. Uh, but there you go. So that's what you get in Loot Crate for, I think it was like 
thirty bucks, twenty nine ninety nine, uh, and you get that shirt as well. Uh, but yep, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Later.